Hello Splenic Projector. This video is for you and I'm going to be going into what the spleen is and you with a splenic authority how to live your truth. The spleen is all about intuition. It's all about in the moment instincts. It's all about being embodied. In a way, it's like if you look out into nature, you see animals, they're very splenic, they're about survival, they're about in the moment. It's things can happen very instinctively, spontaneously, and often it's to do with survival. So this is the oldest authority that there is. So if you're a splenic projector, you're really here to be embodied. You're here to drop into your body deeply and get guidance in the moment from the splenic center, which comes once and you have to hear it, you have to listen to it. So this video will go further in depth about the splenic center and you as a splenic projector. So without further ado, let's jump into the splenic center for all you splenic projectors. Welcome splenic projectors. So most of you would know by now that I myself am a splenic projector, so I'll be speaking a little bit from experience here because I know what it feels like and I know how the experience is to move through this life as a splenic projector. Yet I'm going to have my own, you know, ways of looking at things depending on different aspects of my chart and on my upbringing and environment and that's going to be unique to you as well. So Let's jump into it, and this section is specifically for splenic projectors. Now, I've got written on the page, as you can see, intuition is your key. So we are going to go into intuition and what that is, how to enhance that, what that means, because if you're going to live a successful life as a projector, and if you're going to live a successful life as a splenic projector, you want to be as tuned in as possible to your intuition. Firstly, the splenic center, the splenic authority, is the most ancient of all authorities. So this is why it's so instinctive. If you're watching a documentary on animals, or even look at the photo on the screen, you know, this concept of animals in the wild, animals in the jungle, and you see the instincts just rippling moment to moment. I love watching deers, for example, if you see a deer in the wild or a uh, gazelle, and they're quick, but they, they move very slowly, and they have to watch out for predators, and if they think there's a predator, they stop. And they're so tuned in instinctively to their environment, moment to moment, moment to moment, because it's life or death for them. And that's what it was like for splenic authority people and humans as a whole, you know, going back 10,000 years ago. It was very instinctive. But then the mind started to come in and we've been in a very mentally run society. But in essence, as a splenic projector, your truth is out of the mind, totally out of the mind, back into that instinctive place. So I recommend watching some documentaries, watching some of these powerful animals and watch their instincts and watch how they tune into their environment and how present they are and see if you can start to embody some of them. It might be interesting, you know, it's, it's a different exercise to embody a characteristic or a aspect or an essence of an animal. But in a way, as a splenic projector, you are very, very instinctive. So you can model some of these animals, I don't mean get on all fours and pretend you're a lion. But as a projector, you can absorb that frequency just by watching it, just by observing it, and allow that to soak in and see if you can move throughout your day with a little bit more instinct. Out of the mind and more instinct is going to be very important for you. So if you're a splenic projector, it means that you do not have a solar plexus defined and you do not have a sacral center defined either. 
therefore you're open to a lot of conditioning from these centers because these centers are most of the population has one of these centers you know 50% of the population has the solar plexus center and then 70% of the population have the sacral center so when you blend them both together i don't know the exact figures but i'm imagining over 90% of the population has either the solar plexus or the sacral center so this means that most people you come into contact with will have these powerful centers that can almost drown out and overpower the splenic center, which is your authority, which is your truth, which can be a challenge. So it's important to understand these two centers, the sacral and the solar plexus. Because your solar plexus is open, this means that you absorb and amplify emotions that are within your environment. So this could mean that you get swayed by people emotionally or within a relationship. If you're in a relationship and someone's feeling emotional, you can get pulled into that or you can get totally knocked off center or you can amplify that energy or you could really restrict yourself emotionally because it just feels too much and you want to avoid uh, confrontation you know if you've got an open solar plexus this is something that uh, splenic projectors often do is because it's a slightly cooler uh, authority rather than the solar plexus which is slightly more warming so we can be very compassionate we can be very understanding often you'll be a very good listener so you can be very open but then emotionally, these big emotional people can come into your life and knock you around quite a lot. Or these generators, these sacral beings can come into your life and throw you off center because the sacral center is so powerful. It's such a powerful energy center. So you start feeling a lot of energy yourself and you could get totally wiped out and totally drained. Splenic projectors. You can take action straight away. You can move quite quickly as long as you're waiting for the invitation and recognition. If you get the invitation and recognition, if you get the intuitive impulse to be like, wow, yes, then you can move quite quickly. Whereas emotional projectors, they move a little bit slower. They have to wait for their emotional wave, obviously, but we can be quite instinctive. Just make sure that it feels in flow and your intuition is on board. Now, the spleen is always going to be pointing you in a certain direction if you have the ability to listen to it. And if you listen to it, the spleen is intuitive. So it's going to be these intuitive impulses. Now, intuition can come through your thoughts. So it can rise up as a thought, but it will have a different quality, a different essence to a normal thought, like you thinking lots of things, thinking about the past, thinking about the future. The intuitive thought will rise up somewhat out of nowhere. You'll be just in the flow of life, on a walk, doing something, having a shower, doing whatever, and then a random thought might pop in, and it's like, wow, that's quite intuitive. I, I never thought of that before. That is a sign that there's a different quality, and it's come from deeper within, from your spleen, from your intuition. It could also be just a knowing. It could be a sense. It could be a feeling. It could be a bodily movement or motion that your body physically moves in one direction or decides to turn here and you don't understand fully why. You need to have the ability to come back into the present moment as much as possible. Okay, so hopefully you learned something there about the splenic center, about your specific authority as a projector, being a splenic projector. I myself am a splenic projector as well and it's in those moments that I allow myself to really let go, to really drop down into my body. Does the intuitive hit come? And there's been many, many intuitive hits that have totally changed my life. And that's because I took care of myself in that moment. That's because I allowed myself to relax, drop out of the mind, drop into the body and allow that instincts and intuition to come up from the splenic center. If you're wanting to go a lot, lot deeper, I've created probably the most in-depth projector training that there currently is. There's about 20 hours of professional footage 
that goes week by week as we go deeper and deeper and in week three we go specifically into splenic projectors and the gates in the spleen and I want to offer you a discount on that training through this video because you're a splenic projector and if it if you get that intuitive hit if you get that inner guidance then the link is below and the coupon code is below as well and you can take advantage of that discount offer at this time but wishing you all the best on your journey if you like this video give it a like feel free to ask any questions below as well and subscribe okay blessings on your splenic intuitive instinctive journey Thank you.